My name is Linda Wolf. I am the executive director of the Great Khalid Foundation. Well, music is my foundation. I started singing when I was three years old and it was soothing to my soul. And music is also a language that communicates with everyone. It's stories that impact the 60s and 70s that helped us get through that period of time. Music and social impact, they support each other. In the Great Khalif Foundation, we focus on underserved youths and we try to impact their lives throughout their scholastic careers. We go to middle school and we wanted to impact the sixth graders because they're just coming into this environment. So one thing that helps out is backpacks and backpack supplies. We know it helps the student with their confidence and having something that's theirs, that they own, and it helps the mothers and fathers who can't afford to get everything that they need for the backpack. So we make sure that we get lists throughout the districts and we combine like a generic list that compensates all of the things that they need in that backpack. We have the principals or the superintendents tell us about their students and why should we pick your school. I think it comes from the emotion. I pick from emotion. So if I feel what they're saying, I tend to pick that school. <laughs> so our high school students, we offer a $10,000 scholarship for performance arts major. They have to major in performance arts in college. And we open that up for about three months and get our seniors to audition. They send us audition tapes and we pick the best three out of all of the submissions and we send the checks to their college. We also partner with Big Brother, Big Sister and Boys and Girls Club and we help the kids get their parents something for Mother's Day and Father's Day for the appreciation of what they do for these children. It is through our help that they can get their parents something to say, I appreciate you for doing what you do. But Christmas Khalid, when our elementary school students and Khalid will fly in and we choose a school and he will hand out a present to every student for that school. We also do something called the Music in School program where we partner up with the schools to help their music departments and just to find out what their shortfalls are so we can kind of supplement what they need for that school year and kind of help them motivate these kids to not be deterred from going into music and going into vocal training or whatever. So we help the schools out through that program. Being a black woman are two barriers that I've faced in my career. Being that I had to work two times harder than everybody else, than my male counterparts in a male-oriented industry. You had to be driven, you had to be motivated, you had to be a go-getter to excel in the military. Berkeley Foundation is 100% staffed women because I feel like it's necessary. And just how I was raised with strong women, I think it taught me to elevate the strengths. And it just happened to be that the women around me just lift up. And we've done everything that we needed to do and more with this women staff. I think it's very important for that to be displayed, but it's what I need, it's what I needed, and it works for me. And I want to make sure that we continue to uplift and give women the opportunities that is not being given in the workplace today. I think I can do it, so I'm going to do it, so. <laughs> The most memorable concert I've ever attended has to be Free Spirit Concert. Not being biased that I'm his mother, but it's a beautiful experience. Just being out there when the lights go down and you see all the lights go up and people not knowing who I am and I'm just looking around and looking at faces. People are crying, people are moved, people are proposing to each other. It just gives you that energy of free spirit. It gives you that energy of inclusion and love. And for me in particular to experience that, everything that's on these people's faces, it's crazy that this is coming from my son and I can't even explain the feeling that I feel. It's more than being proud in the moment. I just feel like it's just a beautiful thing and it's more of a feeling that can't be explained. What helps me to be confident is knowing myself, self-reflection, knowing my faults and my strengths, being content with myself makes me feel confident and okay to be me.
I would say lead the way you want to be led. Have an environment of inclusion and cohesion. Just making sure that you are that leader that they're comfortable in speaking to and coming to for anything. Thank you.